moving further on. Now, if you're, um, if you're a good Muslim, as I know you are, Michael, in your spare time, you'll say, well, I'll do Allah's will. Follow the Prophet Muhammad and I'll do Allah's will. If you're a good um, rabbinic Jew, you'll say, you know, I'll follow the teachings of the rabbis because I want to do God's will. I'm not doing, you know, it's not the rabbis, it's not Muhammad, it's not the prophets, whoever it is you believe in, but you want to do God's will. And it's, you know, following God's will that gets you saved. Here, Jesus says in chapter 8 of St. Mark's Gospel, and he called to him the multitude with his disciples and said to them, this is chapter, th chapter 8, verse 34, and said to them, if any man would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Okay, fine. For whoever would save his life will lose it. And here's a key thing. And whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospels will save it. So you're going to save your life only if you lose it for Jesus' sake and the sake of the gospel. Well, no, none of the uh, other religions, the, the, of the ones that I mentioned, Islam or um, Rabbinic Judaism, would say, gosh, if you lose your life for the sake of Muhammad or for the sake of one of the uh, rabbis, that you're going to save your life. You've got to lose your life for the sake of Allah or for Yahweh. Here, Jesus is saying, losing your life for Jesus' sake. So if he's a mere man, that's a bit crazy. You don't save your life by losing your life for a mere man's sake. But here, it's what you're required to do. And we're to lose our life for the sake of the gospel as well. So Jesus is putting it in the context. His life and his teachings. That's what the Catholic faith is. The Catholic faith is the gospel. We lose our life for the sake of Jesus and the Catholic faith. If you're a non-Catholic and you believe in Jesus, well, that's great. That's, that's good, you know, it's fantastic. But you're not losing your life entirely for the gospel's sake. You can be losing your life for Jesus' sake, but partially for the gospel's sake. Because a, a Protestant has, and an Eastern Orthodox has, partly the gospel. Lots of the gospel they've got, but not the whole gospel. Only found in the Catholic faith. So there we are. Jesus, if you lose your life for his sake, that's making him more than a man.